Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest Japanese collectibles and figurines straight out of Japan. And you can find out more details about us, including where you can buy this figure, in the description of this video. And the figure we'll be looking at today is the Grand Line Lady Special Shirohoshi. So a lot of you would recognize this logo, the Grand Line Men uh, series, which is kind of the baseline of One Piece. And then, of course, we have the Grand Line um, Lady for the Lady characters. And then this is a special figure, which is the, 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 the special line is just larger and kind of better quality. Um, now, before we get into it, I actually want to give a shout out to my older sister who came and visited me in Japan last year. And she really loved uh, Shirohoshi, even though she's never watched One Piece. Um... She just likes really sort of cute Japanese stuff, and uh, she just loved the the character. So, just wanted to give a shout out to her. So, let's have a look at the the box, and you can see there's some really nice printing and artwork there in the background. I apologize for my voice today. I know it's a bit croaky. And it's pretty much the same design all the way around. You can see their exclusive Japanese release, like all our figurines. And you do get the gold toy animation sticker and some nice design and artwork there on the back and, sorry, on the top and the bottom. So that's the box. Pretty big box. It's, uh, I think it's t uh, 200 millimeters tall, so it's pretty tall. So let's now have a look at the figure. And yeah, that looks okay. So this actually comes in four different pieces. Uh, yeah, four different pieces. So you get the hair piece and this piece, which connects sort of at the top of the bra, bra straps. That's all one piece. And then the head and the body is one piece. And then the tail is one piece. And then you actually get this uh, little coral piece, which I didn't realize you get because it's not actually shown on the box. Um, but I don't think it really connects into anywhere. And it is actually shown on the flap of the box here. And it just says in Japanese that you can use it to take some nice picture. So it actually shows it around the back at her hair. I don't know why you want to put it there. But, um, you know, it's a nice little accessory. Not very visible because it's clear, but if they'd used any other colour, it would take away from the figure itself. But anyway, you do get a little coral piece. So let's have a nice, close look of Shinohoshi. And I really like the, the eyes there. You can see... Just the color, the different colors that are used, and the expression. The artist really just captured Shirohoshi to me in this sculpt. It's got her sort of worried, shy look, innocent look. It's got it all in one, and uh, you know that's not easy to pull off. So it did really well there. And then as we keep looking, obviously she has her very large breasts. I mean, all the One Piece females have very large breasts, but uh, Shirohoshi's obviously uh, take it to the next level. And the sculptor definitely got those in. And then her sort of nice petite arms and body. And you can see the belly button there and the arms and you do actually uh, in the packaging you actually do get a, uh, a piece I forgot where it is now but it actually um, kind of looks like handcuffs actually but it sort of protects these arms from getting scratched and things it's quite well packed in the box and you can see these nice little accessories and things they've used a really nice metallic paint in doing that 
and then the scales and there's like a they've used a sort of glossy paint it's not shiny but it reflects light very well and uh, it really just gives you that sort of I don't know what's the word that kind of fishy mermaid sort of glossy feel it's really nice that they actually did that so that's just not you know light reflecting off it there is actually a nice smooth coat of paint or lacquer or I don't know what it is that just reflects that light really well on the scales and you can see that goes all the way around so this is where the whoops sorry the box art showed that piece of coral there before I thought it might actually be to hold her hair up but that's not the case and then her really nice tail fin and they used a really nice paint job here you can see where it connects but that's not you don't have to assemble that and it's connected by this piece as well and the tail fin and you can see her hair as well all the nice streaks and streams through there it's really nice and then the back piece And then these connect up. There's a couple of holes in her chest where they connect into there. So really nice figure. It's quite a large size. From top to bottom, she's about 170 millimeters. So just to put that as a comparison of size, you can see that even though she's only kind of half standing up, She's pretty much as big as a normal size figure. That's an iPhone 5 case, again, just for comparison. So, so, she, so she is pretty big. Um, and this is definitely, to me, the best Shirohoshi figure that I've seen. Uh, I think the S-Cultures one, I'm a big fan of the S-Culture series. There is an S-Cultures Shirohoshi, but she looks very human. Like here, she looks very cartoony. She looks very kind of... You know, innocent and worried, and as, as I said before, the yes, S Cultures one. Uh, I don't think I've actually reviewed it, but I don't think it's as good, anywhere near actually as good as this one. So, I think if you want to figure of Shirohoshi, this one's definitely the way to go. My only criticism or complaint, if I had to say anything, is that her skin to me just looks a little bit yellow. And I don't know if it's the light kind of reflecting off here or whatever. I don't know. I mean, Ben Preston, in fact, any figurine manufacturer always makes white-skinned characters very white. Um, and I mean, you know, she's a mermaid. She lives under the sea. She's not going to be dark anyway, like my skin. You can, you can see the difference. Um, and I mean... You know, I'm I'm white on paper, so. But you know, she just it is very sort of white skin in Japan as well. Women like white skin; they like that sort of white, pure skin because uh, if you had dark skin, it meant you were kind of a, a peasant or somebody who worked outside a lot. So even today, uh, Japanese women go to extraordinary lengths to ensure their skin remains white, unlike most western countries where women are doing exactly the opposite but anyway great figure there's lots of other figures you could get for example Jim Bear or Hordy Jones in the S Cultures line if you were sort of in this story arc but um, just a beautiful uh, really cute cartoony kind of figurine so that is the Bam Presto Grand Line Lady Special Shirohoshi thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video